James Rock Show. Down for the My James Rock Show, and I'm going to get these lovely people to introduce themselves. Yo, um, hey, I'm Maha. I play guitar and um, sing in the cup. Hi, I'm Danny, and I play bass. Hi, I'm Diana, and I play the drums. And so, forgive me because we spent most of the time here today. Have you guys played uh, yet, or? Oh, that's outrageous! That's a terrible question. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, we played. We, we played at uh, three. It was okay. awesome, to be honest. Yeah. It's just so hot today. It, unbelievable. And yeah. You managed not to pass out on stage in that case. Yeah, I mean, it was a bit touch and go. I think, especially you know, like halfway through the set, we had these guys come up, and I think they're like stilt walkers in camouflage and stuff, and they came out into the uh, the crowd, and we said, "Come up!" and then they jumped up with us. There was a bit of like guitar antics where, like, you know, with, I think the, the three of us were playing my guitar and. And then, and then after that, I felt a bit faint. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. So you had stilt walkers on stage. That's amazing. Yeah, no, it was really cool. I mean, we're quite used to stage invasions anyway. So when we saw those guys, we were just like, you coming up? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, do you ever get a hassle for inviting people up on stage? Sorry, just a curious side note for me. Oh, I mean, we don't get hassle, but sometimes, um, it, you know, if it's unexpected, um, the venue may not be as happy as we are. <laughs> and, um, you know, I mean, we've had a couple of minor injuries or like, you know, spillages, but you know, it's all fun, really. Yeah. I enjoy it a lot, you know. I'm pleased because a lot of people, I think, are too nervous to do it. And it you don't want to yeah. lose everything. Um, you can understand why because of things that have happened, but I always like it when I see people up on stage. I think it's really old school, so that's pretty cool. I think it's great. I mean, to be honest, it started for us in Hull and it was like a very spontaneous thing. And then like, for one of the tours it just kept happening so often that we were like we kind of need to incorporate this as part of the set and then actually like it just seems to happen at every show now that's so. really awesome <laughs> yeah it would have, we would have been disappointed especially when there's the big barriers you know because mm. it, it kind of feels more impersonal like in, when we're doing club shows you know we can be right there and you know the crowd are right there do you know yeah. what i mean so they can just jump up but when there is the barriers you know it's still nice that people can still get up and, and jump around with us that's fantastic. Yeah, definitely. So what have you guys been up to in the run-up to coming and playing Amplified? Yeah, I mean, we, we've had a lot of shows at the moment. Um, we're kind of warming up towards our tour, which starts in um, a couple of weeks. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Where are you going on that one? Um, just all around the UK, really. We've got like three weeks back to back. So it's going to be like 22 consecutive shows. Really? With, That's yeah, a lot of shows. It's a lot of shows, but it's not, it's not as much as... Uh, I don't know, 37 was the year before or the year before that, I what, think. in one tour? Yeah, yeah, in, in one, like, and, you know, it's great because you get to go to loads of places that you mm. haven't been for ages or that, you know, it's a good excuse to go and see all of our mates in different places and stuff, so... That's fantastic. I just can't Thank believe you. you guys have played so many shows in one year. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, we do it. We do it every year. I mean, to be honest, this is probably going to be the last big UK tour for a while though. Okay, so what are you guys mm. doing um, instead of uh, touring, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I mean, you know, it might not be the UK tour, but you know, we've also done um, European tours mm. and, you know, we managed six countries so far. Fantastic. So we're just probably just looking to do a European tour next year. I mean, for, for us, like this last couple of months has been all about the album, really. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, that came out in at the start of May. Right. So really now it's all about touring and getting it out there. So imagine at this point, because you're a few months in, you're getting the feedback on the new stuff a bit better. Yeah. Are the tracks that you were expecting to go down, uh, going down well, going as well as uh, you thought? Or has, has there been like sort of popularity that surprised you on some of the deep cuts on the album where people kind of find a track uh, later in the album and go, that's the one I really like? How's it uh, gone down for you guys? Like, what's the feedback like? I mean, to be honest, I, I think that the, the feedback for the album has just been overwhelming across mm. the board. And... Um, I mean, when we released it, I mean, obviously, it's something that we've been pushing for for a long time. It's been a decade coming. And, That's um, a long time. It is a long That's time. a long time. And especially when you're touring without an album, which is kind of like, <coughs> it's like the textbook, wrong thing to do. It's like, basically, you have failed, you know, X. But um, the thing is that once the album was out there, and it, I mean, it charted so well. I mean, I think it came into uh, number seven in the UK rock chart. That's and, awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. Like, and, um, and I think seven other UK charts, including the um, 
and top 40 in Scotland and the sales charts and, and some kind of like in international charts as well. So it was kind of like um, really mind blowing. <laughs> but I guess in that time that what I wanted to do with it and was to kind of portray the sound that we're taking on the road yeah. and like to have no fillers. So actually a lot of the reactions are more to, oh wow, I've not actually heard this one out of the shows, looking forward yeah. to hearing you play it and yeah. stuff. So yeah, it's been, it's been really exciting. Be that sounds brilliant. I can't believe the uh, 10 years. You must have been itching <laughs> by the time you had new yeah. stuff to do it, just desperate to play something new. Yeah. So. I mean, it's not like we don't do that, though. So mm. we, I mean, some of the stuff we played today, uh, a lot of it was from the album. Mm. Um, but, you know, it's not all Valley of Fawn stuff. It was like some album two stuff that's yeah. probably going to come up um, in the next, you know, nine months or something okay so definitely yeah. not taking another 10 years no though. definitely um. not you know like i mean this 10 years was enough and i mean you can definitely hear a lot of that frustration in the in the album okay um well yeah this is the thing is um issues like that uh, i'm starting to find that gives more almost more deep uh, writing material to draw from if uh, you're pumping it out constantly which there's a lot of pressure to do a certain way of doing it yeah. you don't actually have time to get the experiences that you want to write about so if yeah, exactly. that 10 years is showing in the album that that's pretty cool so. yeah I mean I like writing an album is not like you know cooking a jacket potato I mean it's just like you, it's just a massive process and it's completely mm. emotional as well like you're yeah. kind of going through it and, and these tracks they do come from somewhere and that frustration and you know I, I guess that you know, maybe people would like that to be quicker, but I think that a lot of our supporters really understood that, you know, that this was a self-funded thing. It's yeah. not something that we could have just like knocked out tomorrow and just done it. Even though we can go out and tour it and, and play loads of shows, you know. Um, it's a bit different doing an actual self-release um, yeah. and doing all the work yourself, yeah. I mean, to be fair, it was great having Cargo on board with the deal and everything, but if it wasn't for like, um, supporters backing us through our, mm. our fun uh, funding campaign yeah. um, none of this would have even happened you know it's, it's been amazing really it's it been pretty like mi mind blowing you've got the best type of fan base yeah I know but we do genuinely I mean that, yeah that's everyone's fantastic. amazing alrighty well um, I'm going to um, sort of wrap up there because uh, that's been Sweet. really awesome to hear about <laughs> thanks man <laughs> um, and well um, hopefully we'll catch you on the 22 date run um, at some point as well and we'll yeah. say hey and uh, watch you guys play this time rather than uh, not realise that you've already played. <laughs> um, Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. But thank you very much. It's been awesome. Oh no, well thank you for having us. Cheers. Cheers for that. Bye. Nice one. Cheers. Bye. Bye. On the Mike James Rock Show. Okay, so thank you for watching my interview with the cut. They were lovely and it was a very, very good interview. So uh, yeah, if you did like it, please hit like, subscribe, notification bell, and then you can catch up on everything else we're doing this summer. Thank you very much. Welcome to the My James Rock Show. Yeah.